I'd like to welcome y'all to another DC TV talk. This might be my favorite episode of DC TV talk. And in in this video just started. This is going to be not a review of Supergirl episode this or Flash episode that. This is just going to be a culmination review, which means I am reviewing Crisis on Earth X. Okay, the entire thing. I'm not going to review about parts, about episodes. I'm just going to review the entire thing as one. Because let me tell y'all something. This right here is how you do a fucking crossover, okay? Take notes every other show out there. This is how you bring four shows together over two nights and, and four episodes and make it fucking marvelous. You know something? If they would have charged me to... To watch this in the theaters, I would have had my ass right there and see D7, because that's why I always sit on, no matter what, no matter what fucking uh, theater I go to, I sit and see D7, because it's always the right space from the theater, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm the right space from the screen, and I just enjoy it. But let's dive into Crisis on Earth Day. I took a couple of notes, but I ended up stop taking notes, because I just say, you know what, fuck these notes. But I'm going to get into some of the things. First off, the intro to this thing. Oh my God! Listen, it started off so perfect. The, the, the intro, the very first intro with the evil arrow and him killing, him killing uh James. That was epic. Cause I thought he was like, oh, he gonna take, he on take, he on capture him or some shit. No, buddy, he came in savagely killing everybody. Every single person they had that he was killing them. We like, listen, that man, listen, he he's standing over the top of him with the arrow. He said, This still means something. That boy said, Yeah. Bullseye and shot this man straight in the heart. I said, Oh my god, what is they doing? Starting this off so gangster. Okay, people. Y'all starting out too gangster. Then Okay, then we had the scene with uh, Carl and everybody. Then the girls got together in the salon. Loved it. It seems like it's it's like they on the, on the screen with each other every week. You can tell these girls and, and these characters have a relationship outside of 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 of, of uh, outside of like the, the show. They seem like they just friends chilling out. That salon scene was great. The scene with then we had the scene with Arrow and uh Flash and like we in the tugs and he's talking like yo when's he you and you know, Felicity gonna make that movie he's like yo I don't, I don't know I'm just not ready he's like hey man if you like for the ring on they you know they do all kind of stuff you know how they do they they, they always do it and then also we have something with uh oh okay uh, this is what they do. Apparently, they don't they don't mind crossing that Marvel DC line because they have another Spider Man uh, reference in here. The fact that when when Jackson uh, and, uh, and what's, what's his name get ready to separate, uh, they he has like a, a cure. Well, not a cure, but it's something that can give him powers. He's like, yo, I'm, I'm gonna have like spider senses. Or like, I'm a spider senses. I'm a spider. Like I'm gonna be able to climb on walls. And I have to be like, well, you're not gonna be able to like stop lift up trucks and stuff like like dogs. They don't care. Every single like the character moments in this throughout this was so great. And then on top of the fact that you have an amazing story to go along with it. No offense to anything else out there. Okay, people, don't get me wrong. I love a lot. Listen, I know y'all probably got to like, yo, you kind of throwing shots? Kind of am. And not, listen, not just at DC movies, but this is how you bring some people together. If this was a movie, it'll probably be one of my, t and like, you got to think about it. This is on a TV budget. This doesn't, this is not a, this is not a 30, 40, 50 million dollar movie. Can you you give them that budget with this and just and just like get some of the special effects up to, to like movie quality? Bro, you got you got you a hit. A two two hours and forty minute movie. That is fucking excellent. That is a this let me get back to this episode because I'm gonna get into my score. I'm gonna actually score this because I can help. I I, I gotta score this. Um uh, 
Oh my God. We we okay, do we have so many different character interactions with people you never really see on screen together? Sarah and Alex, I think this is the first time they ever met. Also, my girl Sarah is a savage. Y'all know I love Sarah. She's one of the real ones, okay? The stuff between her and Alex was golden because Alex wasn't ready for that. She got drunk, she going, she's telling them about what's going on with her life. And then, you know how Sarah, Sarah, hey, Sarah just got that mouthpiece, you know what I'm saying? She ended up in bed. She woke up in bed with She couldn't help to listen. Sarah just decided how Sarah does things, okay? And I knew once, I, I knew once they saw each other. And once, uh, once Alex said she, when she was referring to Maggie, Sarah eyes, you gotta just watch it. Sarah eyes lit up like, oh, so she's okay. <laughs> like her eyes lit up. That stuff was great. Uh, the stuff with oh Felicity Stang, my boy Oliver, was she just pretty much put him up on blast and so like I don't want to get married to you. I was like, okay, why does she not want to get married to him? But then you kind of understand like all the stuff going on between them. That. Uh, Oh, J Joe, Joe, the, 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 then we get like Joe giving a toast and just pretty much that whole thing. With, like this, this is still the first episode, people. I, I think all my notes are from the first episode. Cause after that, I just like I can't do it. Uh, and then oh, we got a call back to like Arrow. Wasn't season one when Tommy died? Was it season two? Was it season one or two when Tommy died? He come, he's Prometheus. I completely skipped over the fucking what's the name scene. Also, Mick Roy is the goat. I don't give a damn what nobody say. The church scene where they come in and everybody's going at it. Fucking fantastic. There were so many action scenes. I'm probably gonna watch this whole damn thing over again. I don't think I. I have a couple things to do. Uh, I ain't gotta bring up some comics. Other than that, I think this is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna watch this over again because I like it that much. But anyway, let's get to the, the them fucking up the wedding. We all know there's no good weddings on TV. You ever seen a red wedding? I should just let you know. I never had a wedding on TV. Also, something else that was very, very strange that I'm still wondering about was the girl who was talking to Flash about like, I'm just happy for your wedding. Like, and she grabbed, like, what did that mean? That means something. I don't give a damn. They wouldn't put that whole scene in there with that little two-minute thing with him talking to the, the waiter girl in there for nothing. She, she means something. I don't know what, but she does. Okay, but we, we have the, in, the the invasion of the Nazis, the evil arrow, the, the, the reverse flash, uh, the dark supergirl. I guess I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put dark in front of their name. That's usually what people do, dark arrow, dark flash. Uh, even though it's reverse, it was Theobar Thawne, he's not dead. Again, this guy cannot fucking die for some reason. I don't know why he said, well, it's time manipulation, I guess, man. I mean, when it, you can manipulate time. Of course, people are going to want like, how is he still alive? Really? Do people really ever just die in comics? Really? But one person died. Oh, I'm going to get to that at the end. Cause that, that that hurt my heart. Cause I watch these shows and I fucking love them. But anyway, okay, back to the fucking savage shit where they fight. They have that. And then they end up retreating. And then everybody's like, yo, we all fucking up. We move when I say move. Basically, what he was telling me. Okay. Oh, I, I actually wrote a, this is crazy. Cause I, I put like Supergirl and then like the Coke bottles. <sighs> that girl is, oh, it is so beautiful. It is so beautiful women in these shows. Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna even go, I'm not gonna even list them, okay? Because just either one of these women, I would marry any that week, okay? Today, Thursday, I will marry somebody on, Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. I don't marry somebody on a Wednesday. Yeah, I ain't one of these girls on a Wednesday. At like, what time is it? It's like five something. I marry them in an hour. I got like, uh, let's get back to it. <laughs> it's because it's, it's so good. I wish I had like a person to sit around and just talk about this stuff with me because it would be much better because it seems like I'm, I get into the modes where I get to talk to myself and you guys. But then, 
we, we, they, we're trying to find out like why Nazis here and, and we have a big group we have we have a lot of the, the core members and then they, they have of course they have they do what they have to do and they go find them but something that was very very unique and I think it's gonna slide over people's head was the fact that er, the, uh, the green Oliver let say Oliver shot a arrow at dark Supergirl and she's like bullets bounce off of me what would arrows do? Oh, well, you see, like, bullets boss on me. He's like, this one. And it shot. He had a kryptonite arrow. And something they did, they didn't hold on long to. But I know it'll be brought up again is the fact that he's like, Carl looked at him like, yo, why do you have a kryptonite arrow? He said, if you really ever fought it, even you. No. He pulled it like the whole Batman type thing. We're like, oh, I have to have a contingency plan just in case you come and you're not on our side. Love that. It's a great callback to a lot of stuff because we already know how Superman always felt about Batman having like kryptonite. And it, it didn't like it. And, and the, it did, you get that little thing right there because they, they teased it the last time and they teased it this time. And I think in the future, it's going to be something much more where you have maybe Oliver versus like Supergirl and the Flash trying to get in between them. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there because of the little stuff, the little nuggets they put in there. You find out the Dark Oliver, or Dark Arrow and Dark Supergirl are married and they he needs Car's heart so he can save her because she's dying and because she's taking way too much solar radiation. She's too close to the sun. I guess, a, I guess it doesn't work the same way for uh, for her. Also, we also find out that they said every Earth has the same person. So does, does that mean this Earth has, Earth 1 has a Supergirl? And a Clark Kent? I'm just, I'm just spitballing. You know, so we know it's got a Bruce Wayne. It's so much the action sequences, the, the heartfelt sequence, the character moment, this thing delivered on everything. And then once they go, okay, I gotta think. Oh, because they was fighting. Dark Arrow ended up going to take over Star Labs. Supergirl now got captured. Her, Oliver, Sarah, all of them got captured. And I don't know, I don't know the cyborg looking dude. I don't know who that guy is. I, I, I don't know his name. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call him the Terminator. And I love the fact that Cisco brought up, oh my God, I love pop references in the middle of danger. It's like so true because it's, it's like the show self-aware of what it is and what's going on. And that's just another fantastic element that they bring to this. Um, oh my God, I don't wanna miss nothing. Uh, we got Ray. He, he's in it. We had Red Tornado. This is how you put a superhero show together. You have people popping in and you never know. By far, I'm about to say one of my favorite moments. And I just, I can't say it just yet because I ain't got to that part yet. But either way, they get captured. You know, we know they get captured. They get taken to Earth X. They trying to get off. They finna get executed. Another thing was that, what's the name? Looked at Sarah and said, I had a daughter that had those same ideas, and I got rid of her. I said, Oh my god, this motherfucker killed his daughter because she liked women. I said, He gotta be some kind of super savage to kill his own daughter. Nigga, you is with the shit dog. There's so many different elements. The fact that Iris and Felicity, two people you know, really just not known for fighting, even though Felicity have trained with Oliver. Can't, I mean, uh, I'm about to call her by a real name. Uh, Iris just did a little something, but Shane just did a whole bunch. Them having to work together to, to, to free everybody, even though they still technically didn't free everybody because they had to get other people. And the fact that, you know, what's the name was about? The, 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 that guy who plays Harrison Wells is a fucking great actor and he's directed some of these episodes. But when he said, yo, in the future, there's a whole, there are all kinds of stories about things they did. Supergirl, uh, Arrow, uh, the Green Arrow, Flash. But there's never any mention of you. And he was finna kill, he was finna kill her motherfucking ass. And, and if Carl wanna pull up and they're like, yo, just give it to him, he was finna kill her. 
No doubt, no diggity, no doubt. And I was ready for it. I didn't want to battle for it. It's just like, I love savage shit, and that was savage. But then we flip back over. Turn to Earth, Earth X, where they finna execute all these motherfuckers. And let me just say, when Captain Cole shot them motherfucking Nazis, I lost my damn mind. I jumped up, punched in the air, because that was epic. That, that, that was epic, okay? I lost the dog. And then the fact that he's with Ray, see, I did, I, it is what it is. I, I, it is what it is, people. It is what it is. But him then winning, winning Earth X is like so crucial. He didn't give a damn. He even like, yo. And I thought it was gonna be, they were gonna use him like, y'all. Oh, he's going to come through. He's going he gonna to change. No, he, he stayed to what he believed in. Like, yo, I have to save my people. I understand you guys have this and this going on, but I have to save my people for us. I'm sorry. If y'all die, so like, it, it's on y'all. I, I have to save my people, so we won't have to live with this shit. Also, it's, it, it's so much stuff going on. You know, we get the, the big battles, the, 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 the scene with... My boy getting shot, Stein getting shot twice. I'm like, I thought he'd be first dead when he was laying just on his back. And then he got up, moved again, he got hit again. Then we got turned into fire. So I'm like, okay, okay. Because that episode went off with him laying on his back. And I'm pretty sure anybody who had to watch that, like, Monday, then or the Tuesday, was pretty pissed because, like, yo, that was pretty much, that was the way to go out. But, and then you have to think about the fact that, they put him together, and then in fact, he was killing Jax. He had to, he had to, Jax had to kill him in order to live, or he was gonna kill Jax. And, but he told him like, yo, I always looked at you. And then we find out why Jax didn't want to leave. Like, yo, I never had a father, man. You felt like a father figure to me. He's like, man, you always been like a son to me. I just do this. A father would never want to put this back. One was saying, want to hurt their child, so just, just do it. And he died, and I was just like, oh my God. Then he went to his house and held his, his, his wife and his daughter. I just said, oh my God, this is, this is so good. <laughs> this, I don't, I don't, they didn't hit an aspect. Everything they hit for me was on 10. Everything. The fight scene, the last fight scene between the Flash. Once the legends arrived, you know I love the legends. They got, they got a lot of people just didn't get a lot of screen time, but I felt like their characters were still used because you have a big thing and everybody's not going to be at the forefront. You know who's going to be at the forefront of this thing, but I still think they use everybody in a way in which they really matter. This I can talk about the ending and how I, I was kind of sad that like Oliver actually like Dark Dark Arrow lost his wife, which who was who was Dark Supergirl. But it's kind of like still, you kind of got a feel for him. And he's about to turn around and just kill Green Arrow. Arrow just put it right in his right in his chest. Like yo, it's you, you die with her. But the Flash let Airborne Thon live because the Flash doesn't kill. Flash need to take a book out of uh, Arrow, Arrow, uh, out of Arrow book and start killing some motherfuckers. But it's all good though. But you have so much in this, and it was just amazing. Like oh my, the fight at Star Labs when they was fighting against the robot. When you had my boy Mick, you had. Uh, oh, did anybody else see Killer Frost like Frozone from the Incredibles? <laughs> This is what these shows are made for. This is, moments like that is what these shows are absolutely made for. Give me a second. Some water. But that is what these shows are absolutely made for. Shit, moments like that. Glorious. And then one thing that I ain't gonna say bothered me, but it was kind of like, I don't know if y'all should have did that right there. Was at the very end when also Kid Flash was actually 
not present this because he has to go take take care of them. I understand it's like so many characters. You can't give everybody like, mm. but I still feel like you have a lot of great character moments with all these characters. Uh, like the like the little stuff, like the fact when when uh when Ray and Felicity was carrying Supergirl to try to get up you know, to the sun, and uh, Dark Arrow shot him shot him in the back, and then it, it, well before that it was just like oh we used to date like that little neck like they they don't forget anything. I think these these shows are thought out really really good. Another thing I want to bring up is like like I said the part that probably like didn't necessarily need to be put in there was when Iris and what's the night got married. It was kind of weird to Felicity, like, oh, I want to get married now too. I don't think that's the best place. Like, yo, okay, you kind of got to give them their moment. Y'all get married next week. Like, give them their moment, you know? That's kind of the only thing, but I, it was a small thing. I just, I just think about like personal, like how I was like, oh, we about to get married now. Y'all about to get married. But when you think about it, it's not like they did it around a whole bunch of people. So I guess that's why you kind of give it a break because it's only like five people there. Uh, like they get married in front of y'all, you get married in front of them. So I, oh, okay, yeah. Now that I made myself make sense. Just now that it makes sense to me now, not really that big of a deal. But uh, overall, Crisis on Earth X. 10 out of 10, easily, easily. This, you know what? Come for me in the comments, because I don't know what I got to say. The Infinity War trailer is dropped today, people. And it's, it's great. And I know people are already comparing Infinity War to Justice League, which is which you technically can't do, because you can you can, you can can do Avengers to like Justice League with Anyway, that's cool. If any what out from, if, if I'm just guessing, I'm gonna say people gonna be better than just like in the overall view of people. But you know what? You know what's not? Crisis on in, in, on Crisis on Earth X completely destroyed the defenders. Destroyed the defenders easily. Those four episodes of Crisis on Earth X, 10 times better than those eight episodes of The Defenders. Come for me in the comments. I'm with it. What's up? Let me know what you thought about this. Crisis on Earth X down in the comments as well. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go to war in the comments. You know what I'm